Hello, this is not your chem tutor, and this video is part 5 of my series on reaction stoichiometry. In this video, I will teach you how to solve the remaining amount of excess reactant. Before you continue this tutorial, make sure you have watched parts 1 to 4 of the series. As usual, I have included examples so you can practice some calculations. First, let's have a quick recap about limiting and excess reactants, which we already talked about in part 2. Again, limiting reactant is the reactant that is completely consumed in a reaction. Once the limiting reactant is consumed or totally used up, the reaction will stop. Therefore, at the end of the reaction, none of the limiting reactant is left. On the other hand, excess reactant is the reactant that is not totally used up or not completely consumed in a reaction. And a certain amount is left at the end of the reaction, meaning there is an excess of that reactant. Now, this video focuses on the excess reactant. Particularly, we are answering the question, how much? of the excess reactant is left at the end of the reaction. Let's go back to example 1. Upon reaction of 5 grams of carbon and 10 grams of Fe2O3, we have 4 items, A, B, C, and D. We already answered items A, B, and C. So in this video, we will solve item D how much of the excess reactant remains after the reaction. In part 2, we already identified the limiting and excess reactants. We found out that the limiting reactant is Fe2O3 and the excess reactant is carbon. Now, if you want to determine how much of the excess reactant is left, there are two steps. The first step is to solve the amount of excess reactant that has reacted. So in this step, we will compute how much of the excess reactant has actually been used up in the reaction. So how do you do that? You take away the limiting reactant, which is 10 grams of Fe2O3. And you use stoichiometry to convert this to grams of the excess reactant which is carbon. So 10.00 grams of Fe2O3, we will convert this first to moles using the molar mass 159.7. So one mole of Fe2O3 is equivalent to 159.7 grams of Fe2O3. So grams of Fe2O3 will cancel. Now you have moles of Fe2O3. When you look at the balance equation, it says here that 2 moles of Fe2O3 reacts with 3 moles of carbon. So we put that into our conversion. 2 moles of Fe2O3 reacts with 3 moles of carbon. So moles of Fe2O3 will cancel. Now you have moles of carbon. And finally, you can convert moles of carbon to grams using the molar mass of carbon, 12.01. One mole of carbon is equivalent to 12.01 grams of carbon. So moles of carbon will cancel and your final unit becomes grams of carbon. Now if you solve this in your calculator, you will solve for the mass of carbon which is equal to 1.13 grams. This means that out of 5 grams of carbon, only 1.13 grams was actually used in the reaction. 
So you can compute for the excess amount of carbon. So in step 2, the remaining excess reactant is equal to initial amount, which is 5 grams of carbon, minus the reacted amount, which is 1.13 grams of carbon. This is equal to 3.87 grams of carbon. So the excess amount of carbon is 3.87 grams. And this is the answer to item D.